Hey yo, baby D, get your little ass over here on the mic, man. Show these other little niggas they can't fuck with the dangerous crew, man. Spit that shit. She in a rose gold chain, gold glasses, prime time like Dion. <laughs> Hey, can't do the corn, do the Dion. You hear me? He don't speak on me, I don't compete with a peon. Fly in a bundle like my name was Dion. When I up and spray, clear the way or get shot. Cause once my gun cock, I then aim and pop. I'm a donkey nigga, look at an untamed gorilla. Wilder than Willa, TC, representer, known for spinning beans, spitting about 50. Plus, I'm down to ride and give it to you bitches. A low down nigga, always have, always will. Uptown nigga, young and thuckin', ready to kill. Ooh! Let me tell you something, man. Tell you something about that boy Turk, bro. I just, uh, I got home yesterday off of work. We real shit. I got home off of work yesterday. And uh I seen Turk had uploaded some new videos yesterday. You know, I don't follow every video, but you know, uh, cause I don't be liking to hear my people that I grew up on listening to going back and forth with each other too much. You feel me? Like a few little words back and forth because you have a disagreement with your brother. I can deal with that. But I don't want to hear y'all arguing, man. You feel me? That's like family business. So I won't click on every live that BG dropped because I don't want to hear him say nothing bad about Wayne or Juvie or Birdman or Turk. I don't be wanting to hear that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear it, bro. It'll, it'll make me cringe, man, to hear them talk bad about each other too much. You feel me? Like you say your shit and then you get away with it. But I uh I saying what Turk just started dropping video. I'm like, damn nigga, man, okay. I heard him talk about uh his homeboy had a call you, call your bill or some shit like that on one of his videos last week. So I just decided to click on one of the videos. It's called Spray. You'll see a, a thumbnail in it, a thumbnail of the video on on this right here. So I click on it. I said, all right, let me see. You know what I'm saying? Because when he first came out, the music was all right. It was all right, but he was still trying to find his way. I clicked on this one. I said, oh. Oh, he done found it. He done found it. And he's smart. He's smart. Because listen, time had come on. The man is recycling his own bars. You feel me? Like if you know about that Young and Thuggin' Turk, it was a song called It's In Me. And the chorus went, it's in me my nigga to be the thug that I be. It's in me my nigga to where be get some release. Old school shit, you feel me? My nigga used part of the song from It's In Me and made it into a chorus. That way he throwing himself an alley hoop off the backboard. You know how niggas go up for a dunk and they throw the ball off the backboard and dunk that bitch they self. They don't have to get no alley hoop from nobody else. That's what my nigga doing. So he ain't got to pay nobody for using they, they lyrics in the song, none of that. I'm throwing myself an alley hoop off the backboard. I said, oh, this nigga smart. He done figured it out. You feel me? He done figured it out. He done been watching Gangsta too. I can see he been watching Gangsta, cause Gangsta, he stay going live. Everything that got his name in it, he going live and capitalizing it. You know what I'm saying? That's why these niggas is so smart, bro. That nigga Gangsta is really smart. But Turk, Turk is picking up. You feel me? Like Turk is soaking up all the game that you need to be able to get yourself in a in a great position financially out here. Cause he's smart and he know how to grab and go with it. You feel me? He ain't gonna hesitate. This nigga, once he figure it out, he gone. So, um, I'm listening to the song and it's, it's on. You feel me? It's on. And he got this guy, uh, I don't know the guy's name. Damn. Forgive me for that. Call your, he out of call your video, man. Say like rolling 60s, man. So, you know, you know, cuz fucking with the, with the 60s now. Okay, that's cool. And uh, it's a good song, man. 
a good song, man. It's a good song. I can say it. it's a solid one. And then I watched another one. It was called uh, I Got Money Now, or something like that. He was in the club, him and his girl. You know what I'm saying? There with the eight ball jacket on, you know what I'm saying? The Magnolia head. I said, this nigga here true to his roots. You know what I'm saying? He's a real guy. He's a real guy, man. Not too many people stand on, you know what I'm saying? They roots and shit, man. Niggas be forgetting where they came from and everything. This nigga here still keeping it authentic. You feel me? He ain't forgot where he came from. That way, I know this man can walk back in his neighborhood right now and they still gonna love him. Cause he ain't never changed. He ain't get to Hollywood, none of that, man. So, you know, much respect, man. And I'm gonna tell you, it's a, it's a few hot boys that's, uh, that's gonna survive no matter what. And Juvie is one of them. And Turk is one of them. Because uh, these guys here, man, they holding their own in this shit, man. They holding their own. They really ain't got no real push from nobody else. You feel me? Like, when Turk came home, Turk ain't getting no big old welcome. But Turk figured it out. And now Turk is doing his thing. Same way Gangsta did. Gangsta ain't getting no uh, no alley hoop. He probably got an alley hoop from Vlad. You know, that first interview, because it gave people an introduction to who Gangsta was. But right after that, that boy grabbed his brain, grabbed his notepad, grabbed him a pen, and he started making him some money. He figured that shit out step by step. That's why people fuck with him, because there was so many odds against him. Oh, my brother ain't fucking with me. Oh, people calling me this and calling me that. Oh, they saying I'm this and I'm that. But he still made a way, man, persistence. You feel me? Consistency. He got to be a praying man. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it all works, man. It all works, man. And uh, Turk, because Turk ain't, ain't kissing nobody ass. Turk ain't getting no handouts. Turk got out here and seen, all right, these niggas ain't fucking with me because they got certain alliances with other people, so I'm just gonna have to do it on my own. And that boy made it up out of there. Now he, he finally getting himself to where he can do this shit on his own and don't have to depend on nobody. He got that wine tea thing going. He got the YouTube popping, you know what I'm saying? He got his merch going. He own it. He on it, bruh. Now all we gotta do is get Wheezy Wee. We gotta get Wheezy Wee. We gotta get Wheezy Wee and we gotta get BG on the same page. Alright, we gotta get them on the same page. Yeah. And uh everything will be alright. Cause everybody will be their own man. Like once you your own man, you don't hold grudges against people. You know, like, you can overlook pretty much anything once you're your own man. Because you ain't, you ain't mad about nothing. Like, you can't be mad at nobody when you when you depend on yourself for your own well-being. You can't be mad at nobody. I can't be mad at somebody say something bad about me. I don't care. As long as they ain't taking no money off my, off my plate. You know, so once we all get ourselves in position to where... We made men, and we can come together and get this money without putting our, our emotions and our feelings in it, then we'll probably get a reunion. But everybody got to get off that off that meat wagon, bro. You feel me? We got to get off that meat wagon, man. But, uh, yeah, man, things are looking up, man, 2024. BG dropped good music. Turk dropping some good music now. Long as BG stay on that same wave, that talk about that pain and what he went through, and long as Turk keep on growing every day, shit is up. Juve already was hot. Juve never lost, you know. Juve, uh, that just another gangster album. That shit let me know he ain't never losing. You know what I'm saying? All that shit was jamming on there, and uh, we gotta get Wayne back on. Somebody reach out to Wayne, man. We need that old Wayne back. We don't need them fucking uh, neon colored clothes and shit, Wayne. We need that Carter Wayne, that Block is High Wayne. 
that lights out Wayne. We need that uh, 500 degrees Wayne. We need that Carter 2 Wayne. Miss me with the Carter 3. Miss me with the Carter 4. Miss me with the Carter 5. I will do the funeral album, Wayne. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we need Wayne to take it back to the N.O., man.